hello and welcome to the show. We start this week's Fail Race episode with Gij571 on GTA 5 minding his own business with an incredibly close call with a freaked out AI that decides the roads are too boring and throws his car up a hill, uh, rolls it, the boot, uh, the boot or the bonnet, something comes tumbling down very, very quickly. That's some, that's some skillful driving from the AI. They get out, they're fine. Uh, <laughs> who knows? Who knows? Uh, Jaw Ridiculous on uh, GTA 5 as well is a slightly irritating uh, mountain biker who then manages to crash his bike into the back of the car. Smashes the window of the car as well, launches himself quite a long way. I don't, I don't know what's going on. The AI are having a derpy day. It's, uh, it seems uh, the middle geek on GTA 5 running at high speed down these hills. It's always a risk taking the high speed down here. Gets big airtime with the ball, clips the top of an AI car and goes for a big, big number of rolls. <laughs> Manages to roll over the top of another vehicle as well before coming to a rest. He's not the only one having issues with the jumps as, well, we've, we've got... Uh, <laughs> We've got a tailgater a little bit. Well, I'm not the only one that Austin powers cars in GTA 5. Yeah, the tailgater, that's that's stuck in the gap. And speaking of stuck in small spaces, uh, Sirius Swag is uh, doing one of the custom races on GTA 5. Goes to launch himself off the bridge. Doesn't quite get the angle right, and that Zentorno is not going anywhere. That is uh, that, that's quite an impressive place as well to have uh, <laughs> to have got the car wedge. That's well and truly stuffed. Invisible AK-47 is messing around with some lowriders. They are great fun to mess about with. The AI? Don't think so. Uh, got annoyed with waiting behind, so <laughs> decides to just drive straight underneath it. Lowrider's fine. I mean, that's one way to get past, I guess. Uh, Regent Doubloon 26. First of all, the police carjack a poor civilian's cavalcade uh, over there to go and chase after somebody else. Then the officer that was taking cover behind the player car goes running and then gets splattered by one of his uh, his fellow officers. So he's not having the greatest of days. Fast forward a little bit. as uh, Still, the police are milling about and the same officer gets run over again. Uh, Paddy Fancy on uh, GTA Vice City with, well, he's in a bit of a police chase. And turns out the police have been just as derpy on every single GTA game. Uh, pretty much. He's in a, a taxi by the looks of it, goes to uh, get his car fixed. It goes into the garage and will come out. Split. They're, they're very quick working here. It's uh, <laughs> fixing the car. Comes out to find the police wibbling and wobbling and rolling their way down the road. It does self-right. Uh, the police kind of get out and then try to get back in as it explodes. Uh, yeah, the, the, the police have been derpy for much time. Uh, on GTA, with uh, them even managing to roll cars on uh, Vice City. JD Duckers on the crew at the Monster Arena, and well, the arena is not particularly kind to, to non monster trucks. If all, I, I, I imagine it'd be a very interesting sight if all of the cars that got stuck up here would like never, never respawn, never got reset. It was just kind of decoration for the. <laughs> For the monster arena as this challenger yeah that's not that's not gonna go we had a lamborghini get caught by the arse that challenger is also well and truly stuck uh, stormy 36 on the crew he's just cruising around and spots a uh, police car going backwards uh, goes to have a little bit of an investigate and the police car it seems to be stuck in reverse as it's kind of <laughs> he's just kind of traveling along the wall it took out a fire hydrant it's still still going in reverse taking out the you know the, the scenery a little bit more and it's still turning into the wall so even when it goes round the corner still we're going in in reverse a little bit higher speed this time now in reverse it gets carries on and then for whatever reason pops off the wall and decides that we should go back to being a normal police car again i don't know what's going on with uh, with these police a48 racing on a gt legends learning why you shouldn't cut a corner uh, the <laughs> high speed chicane at monaco uh, tries to be a little too greedy with the curb and it punishes him by uh, flipping the cobra into the scenery that's what you should have on on all games you try and cut a corner and you'll get launched upside down uh, rebel 07 on watchdogs has uh, managed to get one of the ai cars parked on the blockers and he's going to have a little bit of fun launching it up onto its side and has probably managed to get it wedged so the person inside the car was not too keen about this and as you can see has got out and is kind of magically levitating and cowering 
on the side of the vehicle. He's now trying to figure out uh, what on earth to do with the car. He takes the blockers away, and rather than rolling the car the right way up, it's now, you know, kind of slightly stuck on its, uh, its roof. Still slightly curious about this car. He goes to give it a bit of a push and manages to uh, get it a little bit more stuck. A little bit of a harder push. The car self-rights and now starts driving itself. Yeah, you can still see the person on the floor. You saw the guy get out of the car. It's a, We've got a slightly autonomous car on Watch Dogs. Uh, <laughs> manages to run over him as well as he tries to get in to have an investigate. Yeah, that's uh, that's a weird one with the, uh, <laughs> with the car. A husky mad dog on a Just Cause 3 has got the, the little racing car going for one of the, one of the checkpoint races with this down the side of a snowy mountain. Gets things uh, a little bit wrong though. Runs across a ditch, launches the car, perfect roll, point in the right direction, can carry on no problem. Well done for keeping that under control. Normally formula cars don't like doing rolls so much. Uh, Knight's Viper also on Just Cause 3 playing around with the tethers and what fun they are to play around with. Great to just <laughs> kind of yank cars about all over the place. This one though, it kind of had enough and decided it wanted to be a spaceship. I got launched miles, no idea what caused it. Comes down perfectly flat and level as well. Unfortunately, it doesn't survive the uh, the drop, but that is quite damn impressive. There's also a bike spinning wildly out of control in the background, very briefly. And finally, we have a Poc Apollo on NASCAR 2003 with a well and truly stuck car. <laughs> Completely and utterly wedged in the wall vertically. Yeah, not not really an ideal an ideal thing. Not the safest of a crash barriers. Then when the AIs uh, get a little bit of a shunt going on up ahead, and this car is just <laughs> fired straight into the wall and would remain vertically stuck there. Anyway, that is it uh, for this uh, episode, guys. If you have clips you would like to submit to this series, then you can via our forums. There'll be a link in the description. At the very top of the page is the Ferris Clip Submission section, and you can find all of the rules and how to submit them in there. But uh, that is it from me. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, uh, goodbye.